part six of our Battleground pay-per-view predictions. Intercontinental Championship. Curtis Axel defends against R-Truth. Why is this a match on the card? Can anybody tell me that? What's because up? God wants it to. <laughs> uh, filler. That's oh, the it's... only thing I could say. It's it's a filler matchup. And I think if they, if they had the choice between Ziggler and Sandow or these guys, it, it was going to be these guys just because of the fact that it's a title and it has some connection to a big storyline of theirs I it's because is... curtis axel has to defend the title every 30 days <laughs> i think this is such a waste i mean they they couldn't have done anything more the only thing that happened with this was our truth beat curtis axel on raw because cm punk played his music and they fell into that typical crap where it's like oh music let me turn around and fuck oh man <laughs> you know what's up. funny our truth went and lost on friday smackdown Tonight's SmackDown, I should say. Jesus. What a... Like... Did they look at that Hell in a Cell um, poster that has R-Truth on it and went like, oh, crap, I guess we have plans for him. Let's figure it out. Apparently. I I don't know the posters have anything to do with the person at the pay-per-view. It doesn't. That's why this is just a plain stupid joke, but... Oh, it's R-Truth in a business suit, so it's gotta mean something. I just don't get... I mean, I know that their the roster is pretty thin right now, but they could have done better than Curtis Axel. I mean, yeah. than um, Curtis Axel against our truth. Like, if they ugh. truly wanted to, they could have pulled the gun on his face, Antonio Cesaro, and they could have put it in right here. I would have been hell a lot. Bar- it would have been better in our truth. I guarantee you that much. That's what I'm noticing a lot nowadays. Is we're getting a lot of these useless time filler matches with guys like Kingston and R-Truth and Cesaro and Swagger like god even in the even in the Attitude Era when we had matches like that they still meant something it's like we see these on Raw every week we see these on Smackdown it's like this matchup means less than it could have ever meant at any other point in history one other match think- that they are thinking about apparently throwing under the card because they have this mentality recently where they can't just announce all of the matches ahead of time. They have to throw two or three matches on at the last minute. Uh, they might be doing Kofi Kingston against Bray Wyatt. Oh, my God. No, nope, I don't want to see Bray Wyatt. Nope, nope, nah, not, not going to deal that. Not going to nope. see that card. Nope, well, nope, we all gave it up on the, sh- on, uh, the Wyatt family, so just uh, let's move on, WWE. <laughs> nope, nah. uh It's I another can't... situation of Vince Scott bored. Like, I like the Wyatt family. I think the Wyatt family's got <laughs> think, a great gimmick. I think everybody got bored once they came out and the music stopped. <laughs> uh, Bernie, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. I thought you were snoring. No, I'm not snoring. Uh, this is just a shame because the IC title match, it's not going to mean anything. If they do Bray Wyatt and Kofi Kingston, that'll just be a bathroom break as well. And they could have done a lot more than this. You know, the IC title is like... It used to be above the U.S. title when it comes to prestige, but now they're just, like, even, and it, it's just a shame now. I can't – you know, they need to get the title off Axel. You know, this is a little thing with Curtis and Heyman. It was it was, it was good at first, but now I can't – I hate the feud that with Heyman and Punk. And, you know, right back in there now, it's okay. But, gosh, Curtis Axel is pathetic now. I, I can't stand it. I think now's the time to finally get the belt onto Fandango. If there's one person on the roster that I think could do something with that belt, put it on Fandango. I mean, he's already a gimmick. Put it. Put the. Put the. The belt means nothing. So just. Just stick it on him. You know, have it be a honky tonk feud type deal. You know, where he. He has the belt for a long time. And you know how he defends the belt? Dance by off. walking by dance out. Off. By walking out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's already setting up for this for for a long time now. I could see that. I could see them doing that. They they it, they almost did it with Santino, and then for some reason decided to give up on that. But I think if they wanted to do that with Fandango, it'll work. Well, he'd have to dance out. Wah 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 wah. <laughs> oh, <nothing. laughs> Was that supposed to be a joke? I really half-assed one. I figured somebody would, <laughs> would actually just take it seriously and move on and from there. Tony Mango, come on. There, am I, there reminds just... me, I have a, I have a soundbite of Homer booing that I want to add to the <laughs> soundboard for um, IgG and Keeping Kayfabe. Sure. How do I do that? Do I send it to you guys? Uh, send it to me. I'll take care of it. All right. I want, to, I want that added to the soundboard <laughs> for moments like this. Did he say boo or boo-earns? <laughs> I, I was saying boo-earns. 
But yeah, this match is really going to be a waste. And don't be surprised if this is the time when we're all in the basement and we start going, hey, let's talk about some other topics instead of watching this. Brett I screwed Brett. Right? <laughs> we're just going to start doing the typical topics. But did Brett screw Brett? Who's better between Brett and Shawn Michaels? Undertaker shows up once a year. <laughs> is Randy shit. Orton really that horrible of a person? <laughs> shit in the dude's gym bag. <laughs> Samoa Joe is fat. Yeah. <laughs> he's fat. But he's fat. <laughs> so let's go around the horn here and talk about who we think is going to end up winning. I think we'll probably all say the same thing. But Burhan, who do you think is going out of this, Axel or r Truth? I'll say Axel. Because at the moment I don't see r Truth doing anything. Uh, Curtis Waxel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Curtis Waxel, because he's been whack lately. <laughs> Poor guy. He couldn't even get a singles match with CM Punk. What a bunch of crap. Wax on, wax off. Drew White? R-Truth. Really? No, I was fucking with you, Axel. <laughs> you kind of caught me off guard with that one. I know, that was a play. I was that, like, you know, gained a bit of pastelli. Miguel, who do you think? Screw it, I'm going to go with R-Truth, just because I think this can set up where Payman finally just cuts Axel loose. He doesn't need Axel anymore. Axel is really... He's got Ryback now. The, seemingly, their their push is on Ryback, and Axel is just there to push the wheelchair. So I, I, I could see... I, I would not... If it were me, I would do that. I would have um, R-Truth win and just get rid of Curtis Axel. It was a good try, but it clearly didn't work. Ace? Yeah, I personally hope they just kill each other. Oh. So it goes to, goes to a no, no contest. I see title just as given to Zack Ryder. <laughs> I'm going to go with Curtis Axel, of course, and I think this is going to be a short bath and break match that really isn't going to matter whatsoever in the grand scheme of things. And if they do have him drop the title, I think he's going to drop it on Raw, not uh, not to R-Truth, to somebody else. They've had that shit in the past where somebody's had a match and defended a title on... Um, a pay-per-view, and then the next night on Raw, they've introduced a new number one contender, and then they've won. It's a possibility they might do that, just to introduce something different in between this and Hell in a Cell, but I kind of think that Curtis Axel's keeping it for a month or so, and they just have no plans. Our truth is definitely not in their plans. <laughs> uh, part 7, CM Punk and Ryback coming up. <laughs> 